Hey guys, it's Johnny with SixPackShortcuts.com and in today's episode, I'm here to give y'all a skin blasting, skin bursting, muscle pumping, total arm workout. Every guy wants big arms, right? But every guy I see training arms at the gym apparently doesn't really know what they're doing. So today, I'm going to break it down and give you guys three awesome supersets, supersetting biceps with triceps also with some nice slow negative reps to really emphasize building those biceps and triceps, putting the muscle under tension as well as squeezing and contracting. So before we get into this routine, it's important to understand progression, especially when building muscle like the arms. It's not gonna happen all at once. I see a lot of guys that go in and they're just piling too much weight on. They think every time they need to go in the gym, they need to add five more pounds or add 10 more pounds. And then all of a sudden the form and the whole basics and science behind building muscle is totally thrown out the window and they're just in there throwing weights around, very obviously not knowing what they're doing. So I really wanna emphasize that don't worry about the weight. Complete the reps, complete the negatives, complete the sets, and then each week, if you feel like you can progress a little bit, maybe add another set or add a couple more repetitions. Not even adding weight, just add some more reps. And then when you really get a good feel for it and you feel like the weight is too light, then you can add some weight. So for this workout, we're supersetting biceps and triceps for a couple reasons. First reason is we want the workout to be short. We don't want to be in here for four hours doing arms, wasting our time and overtraining. We want to get the maximum results in the shortest amount of time while burning calories as well. Remember, we want to burn fat too. The second reason we want to do it is we want to take advantage of the maximum amount of blood flow and circulation we're getting in our arms while doing these exercises. See, when you get you achieve that great pump in your biceps, you've got a lot of blood in there. So why not jump right to a tricep exercise and try and push a ton of blood and really achieve that pump in your tricep as well. So that's what we're doing today, the best of both worlds. And along with the supersets, we're gonna utilize another training technique that not too many people are familiar with, and that's negatives. So each repetition, we're actually gonna count between three to five seconds. I understand it's hard to count one, two, three, four. So you wanna get in your head a nice good, you know, one, two, three, or four, or five, somewhere in that range, whatever you feel comfortable with, but we're gonna do that on every rep. So for today's workout, it's gonna be three supersets and I'm gonna run you guys through each superset just to give you guys a good baseline. We're gonna do the three total supersets and then we'll be done. And if next week or if you feel like you're a little bit advanced, you wanna add another round or another set, please, by all means, do so. So let's get started. The first exercise, we're gonna do standing easy bar bicep curls. Now you can do these with a dumbbell if you like as well, but this is a great muscle or this is a great bicep peak developer so we're gonna do 10 to 12 reps and again each rep we're gonna have a negative so we're gonna go 10 to 12 and then we're gonna immediately go jump on closed grip bench press One. two as you can see I don't have too much weight on here three really squeeze at the top and use your biceps don't use your back and don't swing it up. Four. Five. Six. See how slow and controlled this is? Seven. Squeezing, slow controlled is how you're gonna get the maximum stimulation out of your biceps. Eight. I promise you'll feel more fatigued and a better pump after performing this than putting more weight on and just throwing it around. Nine. Slow it down. All the way down. 10. Two more. 11. One more. 12. Good job, slow negative. And that's it for easy bar curls. Now, while you got the pump, hop over to your bench press and perform close grip. This is one of the best mass builders um, for your tricep. Not much of a detail movement, but to really build mass in your triceps. So, with the key with close grip bench press is, when you go wide, you're utilizing your chest. When you bring your hands in, you start to emphasize more of the tricep. So you wanna come in about straight up and down, shoulder width apart, with the bar, I like to use these lines for reference and maybe put my uh, pointer finger on it to 
Again, keep your elbows in, keep your back flat, your chest up. One. So you're going on the eccentric movement, the downward, you're gonna count to five. Two, and explode up. Three. Four. Use your triceps. Keep them in by your side. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. 11, one more, keep your elbows in. 12, woo, rack it. Great job, that's the first superset. Now for y'all at home, you're gonna do two more supersets. So three supersets total, and that's the first round, and then we have two more rounds. So now it's time for the second superset. Another great bicep peak builder is gonna be your hammer curls. So you take your regular curl, but you turn it into a hammer, a neutral grip. So with these, slow and controlled. I see lots of guys swinging them or not even using their biceps. So we're gonna do 12 reps of this with the five second negative on each one. Now, you can do them together or you can do them individually. For time purposes, I'm just gonna do them together. So we have 12 reps with the five second negative and then we're gonna go over and do tricep push downs. Let's get started. One. Two, three, get a good squeeze at the top, four, you shouldn't feel this in your shoulders, your traps, five, I have 25 pounds in each arm and I, this feels good, six, now of course I could do more weight but you can see I'm controlling it and using my biceps, seven, Eight. I was going a little quick. I'm going to slow down this. Slow down the negatives. Nine. Ten. We got two more. Eleven. This is another good exercise to build your forearms as well. Last one. Get it up. Negative down. Oof. There's 12. Great job. While we got the blood flowing, let's hop over here to tricep push down. Again, the same thing. We're going to press it down. We're going to get a good five second negative on the eccentric motion to wrap up. So, with these, keep your shoulders back. I see too many people using their back doing this. You don't want that. You want your shoulder, your shoulder blades pinched back and use your tricep. One. Two, three, four, squeeze at the bottom, get that horseshoe out, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, three more, 10, 11, one more, and squeeze, slow negative, boom, 12, great job. All right, y'all got two more supersets of that. So two more sets of the hammer curls with the negative, Superset it with the tricep push down to the negative for 10 to 12 reps. For the third and final superset, we're gonna start off with seated dumbbell curls. Now, the key with these is slow and controlled. So you have the seat here for a reason. It's to keep you from using your back and swinging. So with this one, we're gonna use a regular grip, regular underhand grip, and we're gonna bring them up. 
with a nice slow and controlled three to five second negative for 12 reps. And then for our superset, we're gonna hop over to those dip bars over there and hit some dips. Let's get started. So lean back in the bench, get a nice base, and curl. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Slow negative. Eight. Nine. Three more. Ten. Squeeze the top, negative. Eleven. Mm. One more after this. So negative. Switch it out. Twelve. Mm. Great job. Drop the weights. Let's hop over here. Hit these dips. Now with dips, you can use dip bars. If you can't really control yourself under your own body weight yet, that's okay. Maybe use a dip machine or uh, use a bench and do uh, reverse dips. So 10 to 12 slow and controlled with the negative. So we're gonna try and get that nice three to five count on the eccentric movement or the, or the movement down. Keep your elbows in to use your triceps. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, one more. Let's do those triceps. Twelve. Great job, y'all. All right, now you guys got two more supersets to do to complete this workout. Again, we're just killing, smashing the arms, pumping as much, uh, as much blood and oxygen as we can into the muscle, stimulating that muscle growth, also keeping that muscle under tension. Again, choose weight that you can control. The more you can control, the more muscle you're gonna build. I promise you. All right, that's all I got for y'all today. Hopefully you, hopefully you had a badass arm workout. Get them biceps and triceps going. For more information, for more nutrition, more workouts, hop on over to sixpackshortcuts.com or check me out on Instagram. I'm Johnny, have a blessed day.